Your success, are you here? Yeah. You ready for this? Your success is not attached to any one career. Your success is attached to the application of my word. Career is secondary. Your success, say my success, my success. is not, not attached, attached to any one career. Any one career. My, success my success is attached, is attached to the application, the application of, God's word. of God's word. Get that straight. Because you don't have it straight. Well, God wouldn't be telling me that to tell you if you had it straight. You don't have it straight. You got to get it straight. Amen. Straight. Right. Why do you got to get it straight? Because we, we are, we're constantly tempted to think that the proper application of our career is what brings us success. But it's not. It's the proper application of God's word to your life that will cause your career to bring you success. It's, we've got it backwards so often. And I know, you know, it's the same way, same way with preachers or anybody else. They think, oh, I got to do this, I got to do this. Everybody else is doing this and that and this and that. Well, if I, I want to be a success, I got to do this and that. You know what I say to that? <laughs> your success is, attached to, not, is not attached to any one career. Your success is attached to the application of my word. How are you going to apply his word? by speaking the bible listen before we read the whole chapter of genesis the bible is filled with seeds for your deliverance and for your answer the bible is filled with seeds for your answer and your deliverance what's my answer what's my answer what's my deliverance i need deliverance i need an answer i need i've been telling you for weeks and weeks and weeks what your deliverance and your answer is it's god's word in your mouth and if you don't put god's word in your mouth you don't get it you will get no deliverance and no answer other than god's word in your mouth yeah but i want somebody to come pray for me and operate a gift of the spirit if you get it that way you might lose it It might stay for a time and then all of a sudden you might do something blah, 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 and then it's gone again doesn't mean I don't believe in laying hands on people but after the person has hands laid on them they need to be instructed or better before they're laid hands on they need to be instructed of how to keep their mouth straight how to walk in these things and how to be a doer of the word Amen. and not just a receiver of hands on their head If you get the devil kicked out of your life by me kicking him out, what are you gonna do when I'm not around? Right. You're gonna, you're not gonna be around. <laughs> See now you're looking at me all the time. No, no. Listen, the Bible. Is this too difficult? No. <laughs> Am I speaking some kind of foreign Latin dead language or something? No. The Bible. Keep it simple. The Bible is filled with seeds for your deliverance and answer. The Bible is filled with seeds. Mm -hmm. What did Jesus say? The sower sows the, the seed, the, the word. The sower sows the word. Yep. Hey, doing the word is saying the word. 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 <laughs> Why'd you do that? Because so many people try to shout you down. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Saying God's word is doing God's word. It is the number one thing he requires of you. It is in the Bible over and over and over and over. It is the righteousness of faith that we preach that God's word in your mouth is the righteousness of God. You are not the righteousness of God without God's word in your mouth. You're some religious person. And I swear Christianity has been so corrupted by this religiousness, you can't even recognize it anymore. You know how you recognize it? God's word in somebody's mouth. And they're declaring it, they're saying what God said about their life. Why don't you preach on walking in love? I could. 
but you know according to the word we already know that that's put into you you're wired that way you see a Christian you love them it just it's automatic what isn't wired and what isn't what isn't immediately evident because we've been corrupted over the years is that doing God's Word is saying God's Word yeah. continually I guess I'll just go home see ya <laughs> saying is the doing yeah. the Bible is filled with seeds for your answer and deliverance you Oh, you've only to do them. Genesis 1, verse 11. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and, and, and it was so. Well, so the seed to produce the tree is in itself. If you want the tree of prosperity where is prosperity for you it's in the seed if you want healing where is healing for you according to God's system it's in the seed if you take the seed and you plant it in the soil of your heart by saying by doing the word that's what you're doing you're gonna say it and say it and hear it and it's gonna grow in you and it will come out and you will have healing you will produce a healing tree with healing fruit is this difficult no. it's difficult if you don't do it because you're just deceiving yourself most Christians are just plain self-deceived they deceive themselves they were thinking it was gonna come some other way it's not coming <laughs> no and see now if they think it's coming some other way they're just in false hope it's coming no it's not God embedded these things into seed form in word form in his B I B L E and if you will take it yes that's the book for me and you will stand alone on that and put it in your mouth and be a doer of the word and not a, just a hearer only so why does he say hearer only because I could be telling you to do this and you heard it and then didn't do what I told you to do yeah. which is what take that verse put it in your mouth and begin to confess it and declare it over your situation and keep it there until it's time for harvest are you here yeah be not deceived God is not mocked for whatsoever a man sows that shall he also reap you cannot it would be a mockery to God for you to put prosperity scriptures in your mouth day and night and you not reap prosperity are you mocking God no God will not be mocked I'm telling you this works I'm telling you this is the word of faith which we preach take God's Word his Bible verses put them in your mouth and continue to declare them be a doer of that you're doing the word by declaring his word your success is not attached to any one career type or any one career your success is attached to the application of God's Word you will be a success you will be the head and not the tail your career does not promise you Jane that you'll be the head and not the tail right. your career your in fact everybody's career has other people vying for the same thing yeah. but God's Word promises you yes. your career doesn't promise you squat your word it, but God's Word promises you that you will be the head and not the tail that you'll be a lender unto many and a borrower from none where are you gonna put your money on what are you gonna put your lips on what are you gonna put your mouth on God's Word who but as you say God's Word your inner man hears it and faith comes you can't disconnect that it's wired into you when you say God's Word faith comes you have nothing to do with it you don't have to try to make it happen it just comes otherwise God would be 
a liar he's not a liar I get great comfort and happiness out of that because I know I don't care what kind of hell is going on around me and I can sit down and I can say God's Word about a certain situation I know faith comes and I'm a doer of the word I'm not just a hearer I'm a doer of it because I'm saying it faith is coming and it's moving mountains and I'm I'm moving with it what you say determines what the Holy Spirit will do for you I don't want it that way I want it some other way I want him to determine what he he's already determined what he will do for you he provided you the seed packet he provided he will do he will heal anyone who will take his word and declare it Amen. he will prosper anyone that will take his word and declare it it supersedes everything it'll supersede any any symptom will supersede any any system any government system it, it's it's not dependent on that it's dependent on the kingdom of God and it's better than your boss bigger than your boss no no it's not bigger than my boss you must have a big boss what you say and I'll try to end with this what you say determines what the Holy Spirit will do for you because he lives in the confines of his word he will not come and heal someone who doesn't declare his word for healing that's been going outside of his word that would make him unjust he will not come and prosper someone that is not declaring and believing him for his word concerning prosperity won't do it yes he will no he won't that's just the truth what you say determines what the Holy Spirit will do for you he only does what his word says he will do and he will only do for you what you say about you with his word Holy Ghost of God.